Here is an example of desperation or what is causing some of the desperation with Ron DeSantis. Uh, Fox Business's Stuart Vaughn <laughs> had uh, Representative Michael Waltz, Republican from Florida. Um, this, is, this is the guy who filled DeSantis's um, seat, right? Yes, yes. In correct. Congress. Yep. DeSantis was a Florida congressman before Donald Trump totally made Ron DeSantis possible. As appointed governor. him to the governorship. Basically I mean, appointed him. He got his uh, seat in the House by running ads, reading the art of the deal to his kids. So here is oh this guy the, the, no get, no DeSantis uh, yeah, yeah, DeSantis, oh, DeSantis yeah, yeah yeah but um here is Michael Waltz who who replaced DeSantis very good uh former friend now maybe of DeSantis this is why uh, some of the DeSantis people are freaking out uh, and you've got news for us you just endorsed Donald Trump for president why Trump and why now well, Stu, I, I, look, I want to be clear. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have a great governor. We have an abundance of leadership in, in, in Florida. But my focus here in Washington is keeping the country safe. Uh, and we need bold leadership. We need experienced leadership. And as I walk down the list from taking out Baghdadi, taking out Soleimani, uh, the maximum pressure campaign uh, on Iran, turning the tables uh, on on China, we have to get back to that uh, before it's too late. Uh, and, and I got to tell you too, Stu, every time I called the president needing something for my district, he answered the phone or called me back within hours. Uh, and always delivered. So uh, that's what it's about, Stu, and and uh, and I'm proud to support him. First off, um, Ron DeSantis, despite uh, his desires, does not have the ability to assassinate uh, people uh, with our military uh, yet. Um, the idea that Donald Trump um, was successful with anything in terms of Iran or China, I think, is just a complete fallacy. Uh, Iran is... We are as en route to a nuclear weapon now is far less isolated than they were uh, even then. They've just like made some peace accords with the help of China, uh, with Saudi Arabia. Um, I don't know what turn things around with China meant uh, in terms of Donald Trump. But putting that aside, um, there is a there is a personal slight here, I think. Yes. He returns my phone calls. Unlike some other people, I don't know. Well, when uh, you were out, Sam, there was a report in the Miami Herald that DeSantis's allies within state government are starting to get a little pissed off and antsy that he has not announced yet. I'd imagine that Michael Waltz is connected with those guys in the Florida Republican political machine. I think people are just like, why are you letting this dude lay a, lot, lay a bunch of hits on you and not fight back yet? I mean, leaving this vacuum for him. They... The, every every basically every Republican, 95, 98 percent of Republicans in power want someone other than Trump to be the nominee for the general election. Then you got the crazy, the real, real crazies um, who love him still. But there's an understanding that they'll probably lose the general if Trump's the nominee. So they're trying. They need to move. I also think there's like a there's like a clear as you said, beyond like the personal element, Sam, like what amongst a few other members of Congress too, who have, you know, went out and endorsed Trump instead, just this idea that, that he, that the Santos is not, does not have the capabilities, whether intentionally or unintentionally to do or, or exhibit the retail politics that yep. is necessary to run that Trump is yeah. really good at. Like for like Greg Stubbe, another Florida Congressman basically was like his, his basic message when he was on Fox talking about this was like, my district was essentially underwater. There was a huge storm in Fort Lauderdale. The airport was closed because it was so flooded. And he was like, and DeSantis was in was in New Hampshire, like mm -hmm. like me, you know, doing a town hall. And he hasn't even announced that he's running for president. So without even the undergirding of the candidacy, it almost just seems like to even his potential allies that he's just wasting time.